Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be opening some of the new Series 2 Magic Mixies Mixlings. These are the mini single pack collector's cauldrons and I picked these up at Target on my most recent toy hunt. So if you're new here, welcome. We are a collector hobby and review channel. And of course, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. I'm so excited for series two. I absolutely love these and I can't wait to see all the awesome new whimsical characters that we can find inside. So let's go ahead and get started. Series two have these really pretty light blue cauldrons and then it looks like we have some new categories. We have spell gazers. Look at that cutie, charmlings, castlings. Spellsters and flyers. Okay, I really like spellsters. And then look at this limited edition. These look so pretty. I like their designs. And of course, their vibrant colors are always awesome. And it looks like their rarities continue when you rub the little gemstone here. They also have coats on the bottom, just like series one. I haven't figured out like the numbers and how they relate to the different characters, but all I know is that if I selected different numbers, I never got a double in series one. So there you go. <laughs> oh. And right off the bat, the first one is a star, which means we have a rare. So that's awesome to start. We have our checklist. Oh, they're wrapped in like tissue paper. Were they before? I don't remember. <laughs> I should. Okay, but first we gotta take a look at the checklist. 40 plus mixlings to collect. And oh, the different abilities. Oh, it kind of breaks it down. I like the way the checklist looks. So here we have the charmlings reveal their magic charm within. Oh. That's fancy. And then we have the castlings, which it looks like they have like the little motion ability. Spell gazers change their gaze to change their spell. Oh, these are like the flipped eyes. Look at how awesome the characters are. I again just love the whimsy and like hybrid animal type of creatures that um, they've created and there's new ones that look kind of like bears and lambs. I, I love it. Then we have the flyers, a nice returning category. And then spellsters. I loved these ones because they were glow in the dark. And then, oh, the shimmer mega pack and then the limited edition. And then you get one with the castle, which I think is the same little guy. I'm not sure if they made a new castle for series two. But either way, this is a lot of fun. And our very first one comes with this wand. So they did change the wands as well. It looks like it has the magnet. And here's a little mixling. We have, oh, how cute. It looks like a little bear, a little butterfly. And here's this cutie. Oh, wow. Look at the detailing. Look at the face sculpts, the little details there. So it looks like we have a spell gazer. And this one is Haruma. So, oh, I love the antenna too. Oh, so cute. So what do you do, Haruma? Oh, that's a cute face. Look at the little snout. It looks like their little facial expressions changed three times with the spell gazers. So we have this one still with the little heart eyes and how cute is that face? We have the sleeping one, absolutely adorable. And then we have this one with a little pink snout, more hearts in back, and then, oopsies. And then this one with the purple. Oh, so cute, and I love the design. These are just like really, really fancy for this season. And I realize now on the checklist, she actually is a moon, which is a common, but she came in a star little cauldron. Double check that just in case. I'm pretty sure it was a star. Okay, that's definitely a star. So I don't know if she was in the wrong little cauldron or if the checklist is wrong, but either way, I am so happy to have started my collection with this cutie. And we can check off our Haruma with her love struck spell off our list. On to cauldron number two. Here's the code for this one. Oh, these tear strips are really hard to get because of all the, the lumpy details on the cauldron. Our next one is a little moon, so this should be a common, or who knows, maybe it's rare. And then inside, oh, we have another magnet one. Cool, so I wonder if we'll get another spell user. Oh, 
And inside, oh wow, we have this cutie. Look at the fluffy tail. Okay, this one definitely opens up in a different way. Almost has like a really cool cat vibe within the horns. I love the patch over its eye. So this little cutie is Lempel, one of the castlings, and notice he has the star for the rare versus the moon. So, so something's going on, either with the mix-up of the cauldrons or the checklist, but he has a hypnotic swirl spell, which you'll use, let's see, your wand to reveal. Oh, there we go. There's his spell as his hands come apart. That's kind of cool. So yeah, that just comes open, reveals his little swirl spell, and then you can also close his arms back up. What a cute little pose too, and his tail is movable. Check off Lempel. I really do like the variety of characters. I mean, series one was awesome too, but there's so many new different designs and sculpting details that are really cool for series two, as well as different features. And just like that, we're down to our last little mixlings. Okay, here is the code for this one. And let's see who we get. So I'm not sure to trust it, but oh gosh, it fades so quick. It looks like we have the star again. Will that be a match to the checklist? We shall see. <laughs> okay. So, oh wow, it looks like we have another magnet one. So I realized there's three different categories with the magnet, the castlings, the spell gazers, but then also the flyers. Um, so we shall see, the magnet one likes us a lot. And the checklist, here is our last little mixling. Okay, we have someone new, someone yellowish. Oh wow, this one's really neat. It has like an axolotl vibe, which yes, that is so cool. I love the pink and yellow. The tail's poseable as well. So it's the same category as our cute little um, Lempel guy. This is gonna be a castling. Our little cutie is Gemin, also one of the castlings, and her power is Blooming Beam. Her arms open up to reveal the Blooming Beam, and I realize now that these pop out a little bit, which is really cool. It looks like they're holding or channeling their power, and then you can close their arms like so. Here's a look at our new Series 2 Mixlings we opened. Feel free to let me know out of the three which one was your favorite or in general which category do you like the most or are most excited to see in Series 2. As for me, I'm going to choose our first little cutie, Haruma. I really like the spell gazers in Series 2. The fact that you get three different adorable facial expressions is awesome. I really like the detailing and design. Of course, they have the bright colors, and there's so many more new whimsical, mythical hybrid creatures that you can find. So I'll definitely be opening more on my channel. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.